are you there others yeah yes yeah, sir okay fine so use of reti uh, uh, you were talking about do varying right yeah yeah yes yeah, that yeah, i have so, just done fine mm -hmm. i have created one example just before this session to explain and one more thing pankaj mm -hmm. uh, that in a smart form how to create qr code uh, how to create qr code qr code not barcode qr code ha uh ha -huh, qr code QR code option to create uh, yeah barcode I have created QR code I need to check okay anyone over here have created the uh, we will see that Siva okay let me first explain this one and then we will see if someone has created the QR code in the smartphone or we will uh, see together okay we will. now uh, search in the google or try to find out the solution fine so use of repetitive statement in sap abap what is this do varying basically he is trying to ask about the how to use do varying there is a, a statement called do varying this is mostly used in the hr human resource development hr abap or uh, hr related development it is there so let's go to the system and first i will show you basically what is the problem statement so see here he wanted to understand what is the meaning of you know uh do 21 times varying or here it, you can have the 10 times 9 times any integer value okay what is the meaning of this particular statement do 9 times varying over here okay from this to this so do a varying based Uh, is used in the scenario like here let's uh, suppose you have a, uh, a structure okay let's suppose you have a structure and in that structure let's suppose you have a structure wa this is your structure and in this structure just a moment mouse is not working I'm just using another mouse yeah so here let's suppose you have w uh, in this structure you have a field 1 okay you have another field 2 you have another field 3 you have another field 4 so like that you have the multiple fields okay so let's suppose 13 or maybe 20 fields you have and you want to iterate over all the fields value field 1 is having let's suppose 10 and here it is having the 20 here let's suppose blank here 30 here again some value 20 something like that let's suppose your requirement is that you want to identify how many fields are filled let's suppose this work area is having field 1 to field 20 and you want to identify how many fields are filled so what you can do that you can use the do varying do varying you can use any uh, you know variable over here lv underscore field let's see the syntax do nine times so do let's suppose here you have 20 20 fields so you can write like 20 fields varying lv underscore field and this lv underscore field is going to have the content of field 1 field 2 field 3 one by one after each loop pass okay so do 20 times and lv underscore uh, 
do 20 times varying LV field. And after that, uh, from this, you have to write like this. like that you have to do so here you have to use the w a and what's the field you have the field one okay so field one you have to write and here you have to write w a hyphen field two okay so if you do like this what will happen you know so what's your requirement your requirement is to let's suppose you want to uh add all the value of these particular fields okay so uh in this particular value this uh lv underscore field will be having the first content 10 then it will be having the 20 then it will be having 30 because do a statement you are having right so lv underscore field will be having first what you will be having then in the next loop pass it will be having 20 in the third loop pass what will be having the value anyone over here in the third loop pass what it is going to have the value blank value very good blank. it will be blank. having the blank value very good so in the fourth loop pass it will be having again blank value then fifth loop pass again it will be having the blank value and in the sixth loop pass it will be having the 30 value right so like that so we have to let's suppose add so i will create one data type add and here lv underscore this will be having the value lv underscore field so lv underscore field equals to lv underscore sum and this will give you the final sum whichever the value present over here did you understand the concept others uh yes yeah, sir yeah you got the concept now let's go into the system and here already i have written some piece of code so see uh here this is a, a structure this is structure is corresponding to the table p a 0 1 to 1 okay so generally the table in the hr will look like this p a 0 1 to 1 PA012 or PA0001, something like that. And their corresponding structure will not be having A. Okay, the second letter. You can see that this is the structure. So I have declared the structure. This structure is having, if you go and check, this structure is going to have the different fields over here. Say RFP01, RFP02, RFP03, RFP04, like that. You can see that, right? So it is having total 21 such fields. What is my requirement that if I want to see how many values are blank or how many values are filled, okay? So for that purpose, this has been written, okay? So here, uh, write LD underscore number count. So see, can you tell me what should be the value of this one by, by looking into this? This particular structure is having the first field 10 value, second field 20 value, Three. and third field 30. So what it will show here? Three. Three, very good, three. It will show three over here. You can see that three it is there because these three fields are present now here if i'm going to give the four and here five and here six or maybe here i'm going to give the 20. okay so now it will give you one two three four five six six fields are filled so it is going to give the six Okay, it's showing five only. Why? Because last you have taken 21, RFP 21. RFP 21 is also there, right? Or not? 
Yes, it's there in the structure. It's there till twenty one. It's there till twenty one is there, and if it is there, then it should add. Correct. Mm -hmm. If it is there, okay. Do nine times only. I have written over mm -hmm. here, right? So we have to write 21 do twenty one times. times. Yeah. So now, if you see that you got the six over here, got the idea, others, how it's working. Let me show mm -hmm. you in the debug how it's yeah. going to work. Yes. Yeah. Press F8. So here, the first iteration is going to have, and the first value is 10 because this is having the 10. First field is having the 10th value. Now, in the second iteration, it is having 20 because RFP 02 is having 20 value. Now, in the third iteration, it is going to have the value 30 because it is having the 30 value. In fourth, you can see that again 30. In fifth, you can see that again uh, 30, right? So it is what? Psi index five, right? So in the fifth iteration, it is also having 30 because now in the 21st iteration, so if you can put the watch point on Psi index and you mark this one, equals to 21 right so it will stop at 21 and there you will see that it will be having again 30 okay because on the 21st iteration this is going to have the value what 30 let me change this value some another value i'm going to give let's suppose i'm going to give 100 okay so now here the value for this structure, for this field, I have given the a value 100 over here, okay? So now in the next iteration for field number six, there will be nothing, correct? It will be blank basically. You see that it's blank, right? For seventh also, it will be blank. For eighth also, ninth also. Similarly, if you keep on going, just press F8 and it will stop at 21 because I have created the watch point. Press F8 and you can see that it has reached to the watch point 21 and the value has become 100. Why? Because for this, I have given the value 100 in the debugger. Is it clear others? Got the point? Yeah, yes. Sir. <laughs> Good. So now other question. Uh, one more question was here from Chetan. Chetan is asking a question. Let's see what is his question. I have taken a card from excellent presentation server. Yeah, this question he has already posted in the WhatsApp group. So Chetan, I have a couple of queries over here. Uh, so just let me know if I understand your question properly. Yeah, Chetan 